for now. Now let's take a look. Go pick. Hey guys. This side. You it on me. Good. Everything set up. Is got the MiFi going yet? Yeah, strong, buddy. Can I, uh, oh, we're gonna see if this works. I'm nervous about this part. Gonna be found upon to hop the fence, probably. I'll be back. Rain is not good. Yeah, it's just gonna be hey, Coach Wall. Yeah. I was supposed to tell you that Lucas couldn't go. I know. I heard about you, this. You heard about this. I did. Landon, go ahead and get yourself fired up. There it is. Do a little uh, do a refresh on those. This large yellow bar is an ideal. Just go to, go to the other browser to the Valor Sports Network know. one from Chassis TV. Check that. Because yeah, probably one more level up.
Oh, okay. So it's going to be hard to check it then. All right. Here. Well, I can check it online. I yeah. just need the Wi-Fi. Yeah, I mean, if the, the internet, if you think the internet's working on that one. Chassa. So do you do stats and everything? Do you throw up stats? Yeah, but we won't have any for softball. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, because they don't put stuff on, no and it's one game in. No what about? Like, Thanks, buddy. But, but like basketball, we had stats. We'll check it. We'll try to check it down here. Prep. Thanks, buddy. Okay. Something for prep. Max. It Max. is, though. Go back up. Because you said we're fine. No, that's why I told him we were fine. Okay. Well, it's up. Good. Good. Because you said we're fine. Good news, boys. Well, it's up. See how long the delay is? Good. Speak into it. Hey. Nobody knows any different. You know what I'm That's saying? like as long as TV is, though.
Mike one, check, check. Check, 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 check. Mike two, check, check.
We're here on campus at Valor Christian for this 4A, 5A matchup of the Valor Christian Eagles versus the Heritage Eagles in softball. Uh, Valor Christian comes off a 13-3 victory against Conifer and starts off the season 1-0. Uh, this is the first game of the year for the Heritage Eagles. Heritage brings back a lot of... Uh, a lot of talent from last year's team that went 5-13. and Valor Christian went 8-11 and last year, and their biggest loss came out in the form of Paige Matrone, who's now playing at the next level. On the bump, or uh, in this circle for the uh, Valor Christian Eagles is Zaney Kinder, a freshman. And uh, most of her pitches right now have come in in the uh, low to mid-50s, so that's very respectable for the high school game. I was talking to uh, head coach Stephanie Gillette today, and... Uh, she says that uh, she was working on a screwball this year, and uh, she also has a great curveball, really going to do a lot of good things for the Eagles. She also has a great bat. Uh, and I'm here uh, on campus with Daniel Butler. Daniel, what, uh, what does it look like for this game for the Eagles? I think the, uh, this game for the Eagles looks to be very good, as uh, Val looks to be having a strong team this year after uh, not losing many seniors last year and just being a year stronger and a year closer together as uh, teammates and just really uh, trying to pull up the victory today. I think their uh, keys to victory will be for us. And you just keep throwing strikes out there on uh, in the circle and just uh, making uh, strikeouts and ground outs to have our fielders make some plays and uh, making sure they have no errors and just put the ball in play and have some good things happen out there. As uh, Batters comes up to play for the first pitch of the game, let's uh, see how this game turns out, Landon. So first up for the Heritage Eagles is Gabby Ligori. Yeah, this uh, team for the Valor Christian Eagles is uh, mostly sophomores and then the freshmen in the circle. As uh, we got a senior in right field and first base, and other than that, it looks like all sophomores and a and a freshman in the in the circle. So let's see how this young Eagles team can do as the uh, first pitch comes for a ball in the dirt. So Gabby Ligori, the second baseman, was a varsity contributor last year for the. Uh, for the Heritage Eagles, and that pitch comes in at 61 from Zaney. So that's a, that's a great start, a little low, but Zaney Kinder, a freshman again, and the comebacker right to her, and she'll get her at first. Yeah, that was a uh, throw, uh, throw goes to Jordy Roberts, a that, senior. That was a great play right there for Zaney as she got the uh, ground out right there to start the game, right back to her, flipped over first base for the uh, first side of the game, starting this game off right. So, uh, so it's going to be a good one if she can keep that up, just keep keeping ground outs and strikeouts, and uh, should turn out for victory for the Valor Christian Eagles. First pitch of this is high, and that'll come in high to Carlson. Carlson is uh, new to the varsity squad at Heritage this year, and she'll be playing left field. Second pitch again will come in high. Yeah, after throwing two pitches high, she really needs to make an adjustment here, and uh, Release it a little bit earlier to uh, make sure the ball's nice and low and get another ground out here to start off the game. So through some off speed there that came in at 46. And that ball will be low. So now it comes in at 3 0. 3 0, yeah. Got, got to have uh, minimal walks as uh, walks can always get around the bases pretty easy. And so got to got to keep away from the walks. Yeah, walks lead to runs. Uh, that's something that in grew in you. And that's at, uh, in the baseball program here. And that's uh, nothing can be more true. As well, as we got a uh, three, three and one on the batter, uh, good uh, hitting count right here. As should should be a fastball coming right here, and let's see if the Heritage batter can uh, drive it, grab, drive some of the gap to try and get a double. So last one came in a fastball at 56, and that'll be well up, and Carlson will jog down to first. Yeah, Zadie's had a couple strikes here in the first two batters, but mostly balls. So we got to find our control here and uh, try to make some better, more more quality pitches in the beginning of the game to uh, set the tone off right. All right, so now we have first baseman, Harriman, number three. She is a senior this year as a pitcher and an infielder. And that ball will be low, but it's controlled by catcher Haley Murray. Yeah. Valor Christian Eagles. That was a nice stop by the sophomore catcher right there, Haley Murray. Keeping the runner on first base. Harriman hit 281 last year. And she'll fly out, and that'll be out of play, off to the right. Yeah, should be a little late on that one, as that's a foul ball down the first baseline. So again, we'll see what uh, Kendur can come up with here. Try to get something on Harriman, an exp uh, experienced player, as in a senior. 
Yeah, the uh, three holes usually one of the best hitters on the team. So let's see if she can do something here. She's gonna ground, ground it to Shelby Man. She'll tag and go to one and for the double play. And that quickly gets you out of inning. Yeah, she looked to struggle with some balls in the first in the first half inning, and then gets the two ground outs, one for the double play, and went back to the pitcher. And that's a great way to get out of jam right there. So top of the lineup uh, coming up for the Valor Christian Eagles. Kendall Loman will lead us off from shortstop, then McKenna Roth out of center field, and Jordy Roberts. And we'll be back on the Valor Sports Network. We're back on the Valor Sports Network. Uh, pitcher in there for the Heritage Eagles is number six, or uh, Sabrine Jensen. Jansen. Yeah, versus shortstop Kendall Oman as, uh, excuse me, uh, in there is Rachel Ludo Witz. Yeah, Kendall Oman about a starting shortstop for the Eagles. Usually, shortstop's pretty fast, and that's what you need in a leadoff hitter. So, see if she can slap some to the right or to the left side and uh, beat out first base. So that, that first pitch comes in at 60, and that'll be grounded towards the second baseman, but through, and Omen will beat, beat it out to first, and that'll be an air, I believe, on the uh, second baseman, number five, Ligori. Yeah, Omen has some pretty fast speed out there, though, as even the uh, center fielder ran and got it right behind second base and still beat it out to first. So coming up now is McKenna Roth, a sophomore. And uh, I was talking with Coach Gerlotta earlier today, and she said that uh, this year one of the team's themes is unity. So they decided to do away with captains and just see what natural leaders ar arose. And she said that uh, Roth, along with uh, along with Jordy Roberts, uh, arose. And then on the button run that uh, was a pitch out, they still got advanced Omen to second with her speed. Yeah, Omen is just showing off her speed again right there. She stole second base even on the pitch out, so that's very difficult to do. Yeah, so something different than baseball is the uh, is the leadoff rule where you actually can't leave the bag until the pitcher throws it. So that makes uh, stealing bases a little bit more difficult. But uh, again, I was talking with jo Coach Gillette, and she said that that's one of the things they do a lot is they try to do hit and runs and bunter runs, but uh, they haven't been as successful as they'd like to. And a lot of times they get in situations like that where... Uh, the hitter doesn't need, uh, doesn't need to get the uh, hit in or the or the bunt down, and then the uh, left trying to just steal a base plainly, which is a little bit more difficult. So after the meeting between the catcher and pitcher Lukowitz, actually is the batter and our first base coach. Uh, batter and we'll and that bunt will go foul. So Roth is now one one. Yeah, you do uh, definitely got to get the bunt down here in this situation to advance the runner to third base here and get a runner scoring position with only one out. So Roth now 1-1 one, one count. See what she can do. Try to get the Eagles an early lead. Yeah, an early lead is an, an early lead is definitely really good for a baseball game. Uh, put, the, put, put the pressure on the opponents. Uh, she gets the bunt down and it's fielded by Luka Ritz and she'll get the out at first. His first was being covered by Ligori, but that will advance the runner to third with one out. So a great situation to try to get it in. That pitch came in at 56. So uh, both of these pitchers got a little bit of uh, a little bit of heat on their pitches. That was a great play right there by. Um, by McKenna Roth as she got that bunt down base around a third as now our number three hole uh, senior Jordy Roberts one of the uh, 
captains on the team who stepped up when uh, Coach Joy was talking about unity, and let's see if she can drive the run in here for the first run and really uh, show off her uh, captain abilities. She uh, foul that first pitch off. Yeah. Definitely when you foul something straight back, that means you're right on it. So if she gets that pitch again, we should be uh, seeing a nice shot to the field. Yeah. Roberts again has a great opportunity here to drive in a run. Give the Eagles an early lead. And the Omen will take home on the pass ball. That gives Valor Christian a one to nothing lead in the bottom of the first. Yeah, Valor Christian jumping out to an early lead here as she uh, crosses home play, but still one out in the first inning. Let's see if Jordy can start up the rally again. Great opportunity to continue to add on and try to get this game a little bit out of the reach to uh, start it off and uh, leave no doubt. And she'll swing through that fastball. That comes in at 57. That was, that was almost a shot right there. She she just missed it on that one. And right back up there, and she's right on that one. Yeah, Jordy likes to begin some good swings. Uh, as that bat, and the more pitches you foul off, the more pitches you see, the better chance you have to uh, get a hit and get on base. That one came in at 58. So one two count here, and she'll go with something uh, off speed, but that's going to be well up. Didn't quite get behind that. That came in at 34, so anytime you're almost cutting your pitch speed in half, that can definitely throw a hitter off, and that's that's one of the keys to either baseball or softball is really having a lot of difference, and Roberts will be punched out there. Yeah, definitely as a pitcher, you want to change speeds and try to get the hitters off balance. You want to you want to upset their timing is uh, what they all say for uh, pitching, Up, upset the batter's timing. It looks like she did that on the last pitch. As a Jordy struck out, now there are two outs in the inning, and designated the hitter Morgan Patron comes up. She actually had a three-run homer in the first game of the season. Patron is actually in left to, uh, today. That was a late lineup change by Coach Chouette. But uh, she uh, she definitely has one of the better bats on the team. I was talking to Coach Chouette, and uh, she really believes in this sophomore class and believes that uh, they'll have a great opportunity within the next two years as juniors and seniors to really make a lot of noise in, uh, in the softball here in, here in Colorado and maybe make a run at a state championship. But also really believes their team is much improved and definitely a playoff caliber team this year after going at 8-11. and 11. Last year, not, not having the most success, but really building a program. And that'll bounce and hit a uh, hit Patron on the knee, so she'll take her base to first. And coming up is uh, pitcher Kender. Yeah, that was a good way to get on base right there and uh, just try to start the rally up again and see if they can start a little two-out two rally right here to get some runs in. So the umpires are now having a meeting. Not sure what they're uh, what they're talking about, but uh, Luke Wirtz, the pitcher and uh, third baseman, come and have a chat and a little bit of encouragement, probably. That'll come from Stanton, the four-hole hitter, who will be up uh, to start next inning. So uh, that'll uh, and actually Patron's coming back. Back to touch to Coach Gillette, who's one of the umpires, talks to first base coach, the first base coach for the Eagles. Yeah, I don't know if they're talking about if she's injured or to give her like a couple seconds off, or if they're trying to make her body in and say bounced or something. So let's see what this is all about. She'll uh, she'll go back to first. So I'm not I'm not positive what that was about, but uh, regardless, the Valor Christian Eagles have a man on first with uh, two outs in the bottom of the bottom of the first. And up to hit, uh, hit will be the pitcher, uh, Zaney Kender. Yeah, Zaney had a good first inning as she got the ground out back to her in the double play ball. So let's see if she can help her own cause at the play right here as she has a one no count, good good hitter's count. Always feels good as a pitcher to have an opportunity to go up and uh, give yourself a bit of a lead, get a little bit of breathing room yeah. so that you can uh, work a little bit more freely, take a couple more risks with your pitches, especially early in the count. Definitely want to help out yourself when you're a uh, pitcher also, uh, also batting. Definitely want to see if you can get a double in the gap right here. And she'll foul something off to the right side. So it's one and two now. Let's see if the Heritage pitcher comes with an off-speed or a fastball here. Try to upset uh, Zanny's timing. That last pitch came in at 56. And that'll be low and bounce away from the catcher. And Patron will try to take two, and she'll be in there safely. Not, not even a single could possibly get a run home. That was a great heads-up play by Patron right there. That was a big off-speed hit pitch coming in at 30 miles an hour. And that 
that will be a shot to the gap. That'll one hop the wall. And Kendra will find herself on two with a stand up double. And that'll score Patron from second. So that pass ball comes and helps out the Eagles as they uh, add another one. And a great uh, great hit there by Kendra to give herself some room, give her help herself out yeah, a bit. Yeah, she really used the opposite field right there. She just took took the away pitch to the opposite field and drove to the right center gap for double. That's a great piece of hitting right there and got the run home for the 2 nothing lead for the uh, Eagles. Pitch that was hit came in at uh, 58. And that'll be in there for a strike. Excuse me, a ball. Bauer has a uh, Two two runs in the first in the first inning as it's two to nothing. That was a strike right there in the outside corner. Nice spot by the heritage pitcher. Yeah, I'm trying to work away from the hitters, make them uh, make them wait on the ball and try to uh, try to push you the other way. And that'll be low, but kept in front. Yeah, definitely good hitters count right here as uh, two balls and one strike. And this is definitely where you want to put another shot in the gap to uh, try to get that three nothing lead. And that'll be on the, or a little bit outside. That look, that pitch looked to have some late movement on it as it uh, looked to start on the outside block and just tailed a little bit outside. So good eye ball. by the, yeah, it was a nice screwball by the pitcher. Uh, that's uh, one thing that, uh, again, with the screwball, and that's going to be in there for a strike, and that's going to be a 3 2 2 full count here on the hitter, uh, Sierra Bennett for Valor Christian. She's playing third base today. And that'll be a fastball to get Bennett and strike her out. So Valor Christian scores two runs on two hits to take a 2-0 lead going into the top of the second. Uh, up for Heritage, we'll have the 4-5-6 hitters in Stanton, Jensen, and Schaefer. You're watching the Valor Sports Network. That's not what's important. Yeah, we're done with that. <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't be here. You're not allowed to talk. Talking time out for uh, good old Jackson. We're back here on the Valor Sports Network. Zany Kender still on, still in the circle for the Eagles, going against uh, third baseman Stanton, and that will be in there for a ball. Excuse me, that will be a little outside. Yeah, one knows Zany definitely needs to uh, start finding the strikes over here as she's uh, throwing. Uh, I think more more balls and strikes here to start the game. As, as that one's high right there. She's just getting behind hitters and needs to start getting in front of hitters so she can throw her, throw her nice off-speed pitches. Yeah, it really has a lot of... That was one thing that Mrs. Gillette really, or Coach Gillette, excuse me, really emphasized was her changeup, and that's that's one of the best pitches because just the change of speed is uh, it's really hard to catch on to, especially if it's not super drastic. If it looks the same coming in, but it's just a little bit slower, the hitters be well in front, and that can, uh, that can get a lot of great hitters. Yeah, definitely got the same arm action on the fastball and changeup. And that'll be a fly ball to Omen at shortstop. And so that's the first stop for the Eagles. 
she can just keep pounding the strike zone. And now we have uh, the designated hitter Jansen up. And Kender's first pitch will be uh, grounded towards first, but it'll be foul. A foul ball. That pitch came in at 56 miles an hour. Yeah, it's Ains definitely keeping it in the upper 50s as she hit 61, so. Ooh. Oh, it's like a tough call right there as uh, the pitch looked nice nice on the inside corner, but the blue saw it differently, and that was the ball inside. So Kender will go home here, and that'll be a little bit low on the drop off. Kender again gets ready to go home, and that's set up on the inside, but I'll drop low. Yeah, it's def 2-1. Definitely on this uh, heritage hitter to try the catcher. Haley is uh, set up on the inside corner, really trying to jam her inside. And again, and that'll be slapped right at second, and Shelby Mann will handle it. Yeah, that was a nice play by Shelby right there, as, sh as she got the short as she got the short arm and just flicked her wrist right there to get the, get the out of first base. Coming up now, we have uh, number 12, Schaefer, the catcher. Schaefer hit 267 last year. Kender gets ready to deliver, and that'll be a strike. That's a nice spot right there, lone low, inside as the catcher step inside, and Zaney threw it right to where, right to where the catcher was setting up. That was a good off-speed pitch at 43 miles an hour. That'll come in a little high on Schaefer. A little up. There's uh, two down here. Kender gets ready to deliver, and this will be set up on the outside, and she'll get her up and in. Yeah, that, that's a nice pitch right there at 50 miles an hour, so probably a changeup. Uh, the changeup looks to be looking uh, really good this uh, half inning as she's using a lot and really getting the hitters off balance and uh, getting out to get out the inning quickly. And that'll come in in the dirt, bringing it to 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, definitely don't want to get to full count, so let's see if she just starts pounding the strike zone right here to try to get the last out of the inning. That pitch will be fouled off to the right. Yeah, she went a little behind that, so maybe they'll try an inside fastball right here to try to jam her and ground out to the right side or even get a strikeout in the second, in the top of the second. And that's set up high and out, and that'll be fouled yeah, directly she, back. She fouled that straight back. She was on that one right there. So let's see after uh, after that foul ball if uh, Zaney can make a better pitch this next time and uh, get the last out of the inning. Good off speed there at 49. This, ba this, batter's, really, this batter's really battling up there as uh, that's a couple foul balls with two strikes. And that'll be a curveball in, down and in. So we'll go full here. That full count is on. Looked hard to lay off as uh, two strikes. Got to protect the strike zone. That again will come in low. And so that'll walk the batter. It's a tough, tough, uh, tough AB for the pitcher to uh, to get to full count and then uh, eventually send him down to first. Gives him an opportunity to get, uh, stretch out the inning here, uh, top of the second. So up now for the Heritage Eagles will be Pack the shortstop. Pack hit 289 last year. That was a nice pitch on the outside corner there. She just painted the black on that one, and uh, the hitter couldn't do much of that pitch. And, that, and being the shortstop there, Eddie Eagle, she probably has some speed out there, so she needed a chopper to the left side of the infield. Maybe she'll be able to beat it out over the first base. Swung right through that one as it's 0-2 now with two outs. Kender up 0-2 here has a chance to throw a real off-speed pitch see if they can get him chasing a bit of a waste pitch. But she'll go right after her and that'll be a ball low low now. So the one two here on Schaefer. 
and that'll be up. And going to two on a bit of a delayed steal is a catcher, uh, Schaefer, but she'll be in there safely, so it's single could uh, turn this back into a 1-1 game. Yeah, that was a great job of Shelby Mann right there to back up the throw as it got by the shortstop, and she was there to block it from going to center field before the runner could advance to third base and be an even better scoring position right there. And that'll be a foul tip. Coming in at 56. Yeah, 2-2 two -two here. Let's see if uh, Zanny can keep this battle going and just make, uh, make one more quality pitch and get her team back to the dugout. Don't want, uh, don't want to allow the, uh, allow the hitter to work all the way back, but that will be flared to center, and Roth will miss the sliding catch, and they'll send the runner or Schaefer home, and the throw goes to two, and she's safe there. So that will be an RBI double for the uh, Heritage Eagles. Yeah, that was a great try out there by McKenna. She slipped it out and just bounced out of her gloves, so now it's 2-1, to one, uh, Ballot Christian Eagles. That's a great job by the batter right there. Just battled two strikes and uh, put a pretty well hit ball to the outfield. And uh, McKenna tried to make a great play on that one and uh, just missed the Sports Center top 10 play right there. And that, that'll come in low, starting off at one. And again, waiting on the pitch here from Kender. And she'll throw a uh, throw an off speed off. It's now 1-1, one, one. and this inning, uh, inning was extended because of the walk a couple of batters gone. That, that's where it can really hurt you. Yeah, walk, walk and then a steal, and that'll be fouled off to the left. Yeah, walks definitely uh, get you in some sticky situations as uh, that's just some free passes to the batter that they don't even have to earn, so definitely got to stay away from the walks. 1-2 here, chance to get out of the inning with minimal damage and ma maintain the lead, and that's going to be up. Uh, up now is... Uh, Heritage Eagles is number five, Gallegos. And that'll be straight in, and that'll be popped directly up, and Hallie Burt Murray will be there for the Valor Christian Eagles. So the uh, Heritage Eagles get one run on an air. Uh, going into the bottom of the second, it's two to one Valor Christian. You're watching the Valor Sports Network. All right, we're back here on the Valor Sports Network, and Valor Christian will have the 789 hitters in Man, Murray, and Estes. And still on the, or still in the circle for the Heritage Eagles is number six, Lukowitz. Yeah, that looked like a pretty good pitch right there. It looked like she had, uh, it got right by the knees. 58, Daniel. 
Yeah, Shelby's made some good plays out there at second base. Uh, she had that one uh, line drive out of that she picked and threw it over to first and then back and down. And well hit a fly ball over in foul territory. Or, oh, and a sliding grab made by the right fielder, Jansen. Yeah, that was a nice play right there going all out, just making a sliding play and getting the out for the uh, Heritage Eagles. Over in no man's land, but uh, she hustled it, in, hustled in there to uh, get the out, and now hops catcher Murray. Yeah, those ones are always tricky as uh, the second baseman, first baseman, and the right fielder all go to get him, and no one really knows who to get him. So she just took command out there and slid on right into it and made the made a nice catch. And that'll be a sharp moving ball that will just just outside on the left-handed hitting. Murray. That'll take a nice pitch right there, just hit the outside corner, but the umpire thought it missed a little bit out, so. Definitely a really good pitch to have, especially if you're trying to put somebody away. And again, goes back to it. Uh, same result. That's just going to be a little low on out. Again, looked like a good pitch, but just a little bit off. So that came in at uh, 58. Let's we'll see if she can bring it in a little bit more if the umpire's thinking that's out. That kind of movement on a 58, uh, 58 mile an hour uh, fastball is something you definitely want in a pitcher. It really can mess with hitters. It'll really just uh, slide, slide in on a right-handed hitter and jam them a bit and uh, really just get him to ground out weekly. So 2-1 two one here. 2-1 two one count on Murray. And that'll be grounded right back at the pitcher. Yeah, and she'll nice. throw it over that's first nice. for the easy play. That's a nice PFP right there by the uh, pitcher getting the out on that one. Yeah, pitcher's fielding practice. Once, uh, once they let go of the ball, they become another infielder. That was on a 54 mile an hour pitch. So stepping in now is the uh, right fielder senior Emily Estes. That'll be a first pitch strike. Yeah, that'll tell you a nice pitch. She's just still painting the outside black right there, and uh, Blue finally gave that one to her as that was uh, right at the knees, right on the outside corner. Uh, good pitch here, can't do much with that. And that'll be <laughs> driven foul to, uh, to the left. And now she'll slice it over towards the third baseman, but she'll make a good leaping grab. And that'll bring us to the end of the second inning with Valor Christian up 2-1. to one. This and is the Valor Sports Network. Back here on the Valor Sports Network, I'm joined by a faculty member, Keith Wall. He's an assistant athletic director and also the uh, the teacher, I guess, for the, all the Valor Sports Network classes. I do another job as well, Landon. I don't know if you knew this. Well, this is, this is the least of all three. You know, <laughs> head baseball coach here at Valor Christian. We really built a great program. I've been uh, blessed to be a part of that for the last three years. So leading off for the Heritage Eagles is... Jan Jansen in right field made a great play the last inning and now she'll see what she can do on the offensive end and that'll be a first pitch 
ball a little up and in. Looked like it was inside just a little bit. You know, this has been a, a great game so far. Um, two to one as we move into the third inning. And you were right, she did make a great play in right field. We'll see if that translates to good offense as well. That one will be in there for a strike, so that evens the count out at 1-1. One, one. Never really want to find yourself in the 2-0 hole, so uh, getting a strike in one of those uh, one of those first two pitches is essential. And now we'll see what Kander brings on the next. And she'll reach down for that, and it'll be grounded to Omen, but she'll beat it out. Good speed out of the right fielder. Real good speed there. And, you know, Zanny does a really nice job moving the base or the softball, excuse me, moving it from left to right. I don't know if you've noticed that, Landon, is that she's got a lot of nice movement moving outside back to in. And depending on how you use that, it's either going to leave itself over the plate or jam your hitters. Looks like she got inside there. Omen tried to make the long play, but a long play in softball usually means a hit. Yeah, that's one thing that uh, softball pitchers have that baseball pitchers don't. That's that they can move up and down. When baseball pitchers are always throwing at a downward angle. Right. I was talking to Ms. Gillette about that. So they can throw a curveball that actually curves up and towards the hitter or down and towards the hitter. So it allows them to do a lot more with the, the pitches and it makes hitting a little bit more difficult. It looks like what Zanny's been doing thus far has been moving it back into the hands of the hitters. Looks like we got a sack bunt here. Slash. And they'll go to two and she'll almost be thrown out, but uh, couldn't be handled there by Omen at second. That was a great throw down by Murray. Well, Landon, as you, uh, as you mentioned, you mentioned the Valor Sports Network. We've got uh, no fewer than eight students here right now working the game, different people on the camera, yourself, Mr. Butler on the on the mic. We also have people working the radar gun. What's, uh, what's Zanny been hitting here? She's been uh, texting most, you repeatedly. Most of her fa fastballs have been uh, in the high high 50s, but she's touched 61 a couple times. What's uh, most astonishing to me is that she'll bring off-speed pitches in at 40 miles an hour like that last one, and that... Uh, that really can keep hitters off balance and makes them really have to train to try to see those. Yeah, 20 mile an hour differential. You're talking about quite a bit there. That's a 33% drop in speed. I'm not sure how, as a hitter, you've got a chance against something like that. Yeah, that's uh, something that uh, Lukowitz for Heritage has been doing just excellently. Is uh, She's been almost dropping her pitches by 50%, and that kind of change can just be nearly impossible to pick up on for a hitter because you never really know what's coming. Windy day here at Valor Christian. I'm sure those of you at home can hear some of the wind um, hitting through the microphones a little bit, but um, hasn't affected play much yet. Yeah, real real overcast skies, and that'll be a foul ball hit over towards uh, Bennett at uh, third base. Great game so far. You know, Valor came out came out guns a-blazing, putting up two in the first, really using that conifer momentum from the other day. Um, I'm not sure how much you guys have talked about that with Valor being 1-0 right now with a conifer victory, 13-3 against a team they'd never beaten before. And that'll be low, and that'll walk the hitter, but it'll also allow the, uh, the runner on second to advance. So, uh, so far, so far, Landon, I'm sure, I mean, we talk about this a lot in the baseball program. You don't want to give the other team runs, and really that's what we've seen thus far. We've seen a, a walk score. We've seen a, you know, a, a little dribbler to the left side get on base, and now we see a wild pitch um, get on base, allowing a runner to advance. And that's what you can't do. you you got to win the freebie war, right, Landon? Absolutely. And now uh, Valor Christian really finds itself in a bad situation, but uh, that, that worked out well. Um, the little line drive back to the pitcher so that the runners don't advance. So a little bit closer working on the jam, especially if they can turn another play, uh, double play like in the first inning. Yeah, that double play was huge coming out of the first as, as Heritage really has threatened with base runners every single inning. Um, the, I think for anyone at, at home saw this, the... The dugout was yelling for Zanny to throw that ball back to the first base, um, but she was keyed in on third, so that was the closer play. And that'll be Turn grounded it. towards Omen, and she'll have to go all the way yeah. across, allowing, allowing a run to score. So that'll tie up the game for the Eagles, or Heritage, excuse me. They're both Eagles. It's yeah. okay. No big deal. So. You could say Eagles and not be wrong <laughs> in this case. So, uh... Valor Sports Network has a lot of a lot of exciting broadcasts coming up this year. We're, uh, we're here at softball doing our first softball broadcast ever. That's right. On Monday, we have uh, our first golf broadcast ever, so that should be interesting to Excited see. Excited to do that with you, Landon. We're going to be in the, in the golf cart driving around. We'll see how that turns out. And that's knocked down the line, and that's fair, and Patron will field it off the wall by the foul pole, and she'll relay it in, and that's a stand-up double for number one, Stanton. So uh, that'll actually give Heritage a lead here, three to two. Yeah, Heritage is really starting to bring out the bats a little bit. They figured Zanny out just a little bit. 
Um, and they've increased their production every single inning, starting with zero, going to one, and now in t with two here in the third inning. This 5A, 5A slash 4A, Heritage does split classifications because they're right in between uh, on the school population chart. So they play 4A in some sports, 5A in others. Um, but they are really starting to bring it, this perennial power in this area of Littleton. Heritage uh, on Valor Christian's football schedule this year for the first time, and uh, they'll try to obviously bring bring it out against Valor. There's a lot of, a lot of teams yeah, that Heritage circled. Yeah, Heritage, uh, I believe it was three years ago, uh, won the 4A state title, went back up to 5A, and now is back down at 4A. Again, being right on that bubble between 4A and 5A. Or they're oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. They're still 5A. They moved up three years ago. Yeah, they uh, they won their 4A state championship. And then bumped up, yeah. The year right. Valor Christian won uh, their 3A one. That that game will be broadcast on uh, on Valor Sports Network, and that'll be September 14th. But they uh, they have a great player in their quarterback, Ryan Novak, who was a senior starting for the third year and really uh, looking to play at the next level. And they have I'll just... Take, I'll take our guy. I mean, I'll, you know, the kid going going to play for the Pokes. I'll take our guy. Just saying. Here we go. Back to softball. <laughs> Up at the plate right now is uh, Jansen. The the Eagles, or uh, Heritage, excuse me, has two Jansons on their team. So pr some sisters, the right fielder who made that great play, and then our designated hitter here. And uh, Kender... Continuing to hang out in the mid 50s, just uh, a lot of last pitches have been right, right in there. 54, 55, 51, just really, uh, really bringing it, staying consistent into the third inning. So full count here. Well, let's see if we can get the Eagles back in the dugout to try to fight back here. Good pitch, and that will be on the inside K. corner, and she'll, she'll get the punch out. I think the move. I think. I think her greatest asset right now is her movement. Um, I think she continues to move the ball inside and outside. You see Hallie Murray, the catcher, setting up outside and then squeezing herself back over over the plate. She's got to do a really good job of moving that ball around and keeping it out of the middle, um, which she has done, and then she's also gotten hit with a couple of mistakes. But here we go, um, moving into the bottom of the third here on the Valor Sports Network with the uh, the Valor Eagles heading back to back to bat. Landon, why don't you outline some more of those uh, broadcasts? we got a big doubleheader coming up next Thursday. Yeah, next Thursday we have boys soccer at Conifer and girls volleyball at soccer or at Conifer, excuse me. Ask me how I know that's going to how that's going to turn out. I have no idea. I don't know if, I'm not sure if Conifer has the ability to have Wi-Fi up there, but we're going to figure it out and hopefully we get a chance to broadcast both. Yeah, a lot of a lot of great opportunities here on this list. A lot of football being broadcast. A lot of uh, volleyball. Volleyball was real fun to do last it last was. year during the when we hosted a uh, district tournament. Broadcast every game, not just Valor Christian. Well, and the games. challenge the challenge for the volleyball girls. For those of you at home who don't know, um, or across coast to coast, we hear we have listeners on the east coast as well as the west coast right now. Um, the gym floor here at Valor Christian um, was flooded. Uh, this summer, and it has actually been torn out. The volleyball girls will be the road warriors this year, and they will have to play every game away, hopefully until maybe the district or regional tournament, if they're lucky enough to host. Yeah, that really uh, limits a lot of what the volleyball there you program go. can do. And that'll be a single to the right side, and they'll, the right fielder will try to try to get her at first, but Omen's on safely. Yeah, with Omen being so fleet of foot as the leadoff hitter right there, you know, she had... Right fielder didn't have much of an opportunity to get that, after her. That was a 57-mile-an-hour fastball from Lukovic. Great start of the inning by Omen. Omen seems to be a great place setter for this ball club. She's a sophomore, so one of the one of the members of the big sophomore class that uh, Coach Gillette's mm -hmm. real excited about. A little hit run action. Again go to the right side, but uh, that'll advance a runner, so that's a cue. Absolutely, it's a cue. Absolutely, quality at bat. One of the one of the things we talk about in the Valor pr uh, baseball program quite a bit. A quality at bat being the goal of every at bat, not just a hit. Yeah, it really uh, opens up the game to find more success in something where uh, there's so much so much failure is uh, prevalent in the game. Senior Jordy Roberts step into the plate here. Really, one of the leaders not only on the softball team but also with just within the school and uh, within the senior class. 
you know, an interesting story, if I can take a segue here real quick about Jordy. Um, heard a story about how she came to Valor, and I'm going to actually share that here in a second. That pitch will be outside for a ball. So Jordy, Jordy had an older sister named Kelly. Kelly graduated from Valor Christian High School in 2011, and Jordy was actually attending a, another high school here in the area um, at the time. And she came to the came to the graduation as she takes that pitch for ball three, I believe. Um, Jordy turned to her parents during the course of the graduation and said, "I feel like God is telling me to come to Valor." And here she is, two years later, getting ready to graduate herself in her senior year of 2013. And she fakes the bunt. As, uh, Omen got a pretty pretty big jump off the bag, but uh, she'll be back safely. That's uh, yeah, that's really a powerful story about uh, Jordy. And Lukowicz delivers. And Nicely done. Poked to Nicely the gap done by Roberts, and she'll probably find herself on two. And that'll tie the game up for Valor Christian is well, Omen's home. Well, here's now here's one of the things, Landon. Here's where you get a chance to see the inside game here. No team has had a big inning yet. We classify a big inning as having three runs or more in an inning. And we talk also a lot about trying to win innings. Valor wins the first inning 2-0. Heritage wins the second inning 1-0. Now, this is actually a pivotal time to eke out a tie or actually win this inning could be big a big momentum swing for the Eagles. And that'll be popped foul. And this is the hitter we want off the bat of Patron. Yeah, Patron really has a chance to replicate what her sister did over the last few years and just be one of the one of the most powerful hitters absolutely. In, the, in the program and absolutely within the state. And that pitch will come in at fifty seven. And that'll well be done. past the first or the through the gap, excuse me, and Patron will be safe at one and Roberts will Almost score from second. Or the umpire had called time and was actually in Jordy's way to try to score. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's kind of an odd time to call time when a runner is actually still running. But you know what? That actually gives the Eagles the lead and ties up the ties up the innings right now, one to one with one tie, with the Eagles threatening yet again. Great job hitting the ball the other way by Patron. You're going to hear that out of this Valor Eagle team, both on softball and on the baseball program. <laughs> and uh, something that... Uh, As Morgan moves up on a wild pitch. Something that I would say could be it could be affecting all this string of hits that the Valor Christian's putting together is that uh, Lukovic from uh, Heritage has just been delivering fastballs. She's thrown one off-speed pitch out of the bat the last mm. 10 or 12. So uh, once, once there, hitters start keying on that, it's... it's leads to rallies. That was a little bit, and I don't know if that's just a little bit of a cut fastball or a full curveball, but that did have a little break right to left on it as the eagle hitter swung through. And that'll be grounded back up the middle and uh, to the shortstop, and Patron will advance on the throw, and she will be out in third. Yes, she will, and that's a great play, a tough inning ender, and that actually prevents the Eagles from gaining and really seizing that momentum. We'll have to see how this turns out for the Eagles. She got her on a 51-mile-an-hour pitch. So, again, when she goes to that off-speed, she really seems to be get, having a lot of success with the Valor Christian hitters. So, Valor Christian now up 4-3 uh, to three on five hits. You're watching the Valor Sports Network.
Schaefer will be up for the Heritage Eagles as they try to uh, rebound and gain back the lead in this back and forth softball game. Heck of a great game so far. Uh, the Valor Eagles showing some real competitiveness that they haven't shown in the first few years of the program, which is really exciting. You can definitely tell that this Eagle club is a team on the rise. And that uh, that ball will get past the pitcher. And it did. The throwback got back, and everybody was kind of looking around. <laughs> and it was just one of those things that happens. And yeah, if there's a if there's a runner on base, you better uh, you got to have your middle infielders backing up the throwback. You don't want any, anybody getting any free bases. And that'll be grounded right back at Zany Kinder, and she'll go to one. And I'll tell you, in these tight quarters of the softball field, it's pretty amazing how if you throw the ball in the outside corner and the hitter pulls over the top of it, it goes right back to the pitcher every time. We're on a baseball field because the, the distance is so much further, you tend to get that ball going to the shortstop. Uh, another thing about, uh, about the short short distances on the softball field is a lot of infielders wear those uh, facial right. masks. Right. Uh, all of Valor Christian's infielders, besides Roberts at first, have, a, have that on. Just try to be safe. And that pitch guy uh, came in at 54, and that'll be high. I think, I think the Valor pitching um, strategy may tend to bear a little bit more fruit as they're mixing up speeds a little bit more, mixing up movement, where the Heritage pitcher is just basically feeding it in there. Yeah, the coaches are absolutely exciting about having a freshman, a true freshman in Kender, being here for the next four years and seeing how well she can develop. After playing, you know, club ball throughout throughout the summer and throughout uh, throughout the youth, finally bring it to the high school game and be so effective as a freshman, you just you just have to have a lot of hope for the future. Especially, she had the double uh, mm -hmm. RBI double to start the game, so she's going to be great for the Eagles on both sides. You bet she is. Hitting in the middle of the lineup is Kinder and pitching. She's going to play a vital role for four years, and that's what you have to have in softball. You have to have one girl who can really ride, you can ride as a pitcher. That's a great pitch on the outside corner. Yeah, uh, that's, a, that's a big difference between softball and baseball. Is softball, yeah, isn't the, it? Because it's a, the underhand is a natural movement, it doesn't wear on the body as much as baseball does, whereas baseball pitchers win out every game. Their, their arms will be destroyed after two. And that'll be a strikeout on the punch out. Great Boy, that, pitch. We don't have the greatest view of the plate, but that sure did seem like it ran inside pretty hard. So Yeah, that had a lot of upward cutting movement, and that's, that's real difficult to hit, especially as a right-hander having it cut in on your hands. It's not much you can do with it. Landon, if you could remind me real quick, what, the, what is the date today? It is the 23rd, meaning we are one day away from the valor Mullen matchup in, in football. Indeed it does. I also just wanted to check and see because it feels like it's about 40 degrees outside and I'm freezing out here in the in center field. <laughs> we could use jackets. Uh, well, you do have the nice apparel deal coming in. so that, Yes, that, I do. That yes, we be, do. Yep. That could be, in that the could be vital, right? Yeah, we should, we should work on that. VSN sweatshirts and so on. So 2-0 now. And Kender... We want to get a strike here before it goes 3-0, and you have to just try to get a strike and throw it fast, flat and fast, and that's what she did right there. The automatic take on for the Heritage Eagles. We employ the automatic take 3-0 as well. Unless you're Jake Steese in the 2011 <laughs> state playoffs. <laughs> yes, that is true. That is true. It was a single. Let's be fair. <laughs> and it, was a laser it was a laser beam, but it was a single. I do believe that Mr. Steese is the only hitter to ever swing three and in the Valor program and thus we are hitting a thousand when we swing three oh which is a good argument for <laughs> letting you swing three oh right and that'll be high two two so that'll bring us to a full count this is where this is where a young a young pitcher a young pitcher like kinder it's all about trying to figure out how do i uh, maintain my focus for longer she's done a great job she's got the two outs now close the inning out and setting up inside is uh, Murray, and that'll be fouled off. I think they were trying to go to that up and they were. cutting pitch. Yep. So a little bit of a battle we have going on. And Zaney will throw home. Ah. That'll be a little low. And that'll be a walk, unfortunately. And we'll let Kinder join the baseball fraternity of the two-out walk club. It's a prestigious club, the Two Out Walk Club. It's one of your, it's one of those pet peeves, you know, as a as a coach, where you're sitting there, the bases are empty, there's two outs, 
Just throw the ball down the middle. What's the worst thing that can happen? Well, a home run. Right, which is w- worth one run. <laughs> it's worth one run, so that's the worst thing that can happen. And a little bit of embarrassment if you're a pitcher. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough, okay. Maybe my cool logic doesn't quite work. And that'll be hit, hit directly you bet. at McKenna Roth in center. And that'll bring the Valor Christian Eagles in to hit. McKenna, I think, um, also is part of that um, 2000 and what was that be the 2015 class the yeah. sophomore class 2015 class um that looks really promising for these valor eagles yeah she's already one of the leaders on the team and as a sophomore that means uh especially with jordy graduating she's got she's got two years to really step up and uh, lead the eagles to a lot of success Landon, i just would love to get your your opinion you know the uh the softball culture is very different from the baseball culture should the should the baseball culture uh, do more of the chanting and the we just had a jump on it chant where every one of the players on the Valor softball side did a jump at the same time and said jump on it. Should there be more of that in baseball or no? I would say no because whenever anything like that does arise in baseball, it turns out to be pretty bush league with teams just mm. doing things to distract people and uh, really take away from the game instead of adding to it. It's uh, it's something that girls can appreciate because. Uh, just the community factor and a lot of them getting excited for each other but uh so you're saying that boys aren't designed for community is what i'm hearing you say that they're self-centered but I, girls are more community based i mean help me out here i'm saying that uh that girls it just adds a, that that aspect of fun of fun to the okay. game for them where guys that that wouldn't be fun they'd uh, they'd feel a little a little feminine so it's just not fun is what you're saying and I'm saying that guys, uh, guys don't find that as fun, especially, especially walking back to the dugout. You strike out, you're throwing your helmet around, you're slapping it on your knees, and then uh, huh. people start chanting and trying to get you to chant, and then, then you just get upset, and it takes away from, <laughs> takes away from your focus. The difference between boys and girls, there have been many books written on this subject. There is, there is always just, just leaving, leaving the games how they are, and that'll be... Uh, Hit directly back to the pitcher by Bennett, the third baseman for Valor Christian. Somebody needs to talk to Coach Coach Bond about getting the scoreboard right right now. He didn't put the zero up for Heritage in the in the top there. Well, uh, he, he's probably distracted by his new position at Valor. Maybe so, right? There are a number of people with new positions. 39, I believe, is the number, the new, uh, new members of the Valor faculty and staff this year. And that will be low. Now, a lot of a lot of good things going on with the, within the school, uh, just in terms of the student culture, a new schedule this year, uh, new sort of system of student life. Mm-hmm. Uh, it looks to be a great year coming up with the first major event and probably uh, the football game that the state of Colorado has been looking forward to for about two years now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> with uh, and that that. Uh, Stadium here at Valley Christian will be rocking on uh, tomorrow night. It'll be broadcast on ESPN three. Fortunately, we won't be bringing that to you as well. Nice and day. that'll be singled directly back up the middle. And Man will be on safely. Man also one of the pitchers for Valor Christian really did a lot last year. But with Kender coming in, uh, she'll look at more of an infield role, but also also pick up some spot starts here and there. Yeah, I'd I'd go so far. You know, you talked about tomorrow night, Valor versus Mullen. I'd I'd go so far as to say that's the biggest event in school history, wouldn't you? Yeah, and uh, hopefully, hopefully it can be an event similar to the Regis Jesuit game last year. Oh, yeah, a button run here by Murray, the catcher, and that'll be successful. And uh, she'll move the runner over in the scoring position. So uh, great coaches little, here playing some small ball. Great little drag bunt there, putting some pressure on the defense. Well executed by Heritage. Well executed by the Eagles. We'll see if they can win the inning here in the fourth. Is there anything more frustrating to a coach than uh, players not being able to lay down a bunt? <laughs> Gee, why do you ask? Well, uh, it's, it's, it's yes. <laughs> there, or I should say no. There is nothing more frustrating than not being able to get a bunt down in a situation where you need it. Absolutely, it, especially when it starts getting clutch. The, uh, towards the end of games, mm-hmm. you really need to start moving runners and just playing like, small ball. And just like this game is, 4-3 to three right now, sitting in the bottom of the fourth inning, and temperature continues to drop as my arm arms continue to uh, lose feeling. And that'll be oh, a foul ball. Foul. But back to the uh, back to the Mullen game, it, if, it, if it's anything like the Regis Jesuit game last year, which uh, that's what a lot of students that have been at Valor Christian for the past few years have really looked at as one of their, uh, one of their favorite events. Yeah, that's uh, true. It was just it was a great environment. Uh, really, uh, probably raised the school spirit to a whole new level. Yeah. 
I'm going to vote for no rain this year, though, and a rain and trying to put everybody in the gyms and doing that whole business. That, that I'll was vote against, I'll vote against that. Uh, you know, the, the, the gyms were really where it all happened. I mean, it put a little damper on the game. It probably made the game a lot closer than it should have because Ballard Christian lost a lot of its momentum. But uh, That's true. That's true because we scored on our first two drives, if I remember correctly. Yeah, and then uh, then after that, we didn't score again until the fourth quarter. So we just played the best game against Ballard Christian uh, of anybody last year, and that was – yeah, I think that was that was a a big time air out of their air out of the sails for for Regis um, for a 4A team to come and beat the 5A team. I think that was that was pretty shocking, and I wonder I wonder how um, I wonder how Mullen will come out tomorrow. They're gonna I feel like Mullen's gonna have to come out fast because I feel like the Valor offense, as usual, will come out quickly. Yeah, especially with uh, Luke Del Rio at the helm, the Oklahoma State quarterback commit. Go go Cowboys. Uh, you know, you can we, we I think as a society we plug those quarterbacks quite a bit, but you know what? I really think that this game's gonna be won by the running backs. And I just think we have so much depth at the running back position with Christian McCaffrey, Cameron Gray, Daryl Hawkins. That's gonna be that how do you stop any of them? I mean that's just this year, I mean it's even it, Valor's offense is gonna be a little more dynamic, taking nothing away from the from the quarterbacks of the past. Uh, I mean Few years ago, we had uh, Brock Berglund, who obviously was a highly successful high school player, and uh, he he's uh, he's off at the next level. But uh, ne- last year, you know, uh, we we relied heavily on the running game. Uh, we have uh, Cody Tebow, who's playing college ball at. Uh, and I heard already third on the depth chart. That, that's at Drake, is very what I heard. exciting. Yeah, uh, he's uh, he's off at Drake, which is an FCS school, so st- uh, Division One football, and. Um, West Tabor, both of them are actually honorable mention all state. We had a two quarterback system, but uh, it was still the offense was centered around uh, Christian McCaffrey, no who was a sophomore, was was one of the most, you know, easily in the top three, arguably the most dynamic player last year. But this year with Luke Del Rio, just opens opens the passing game way up, and then this team still have to contend with Christian McCaffrey, and there's really no way to no way to try to game plan for that. Yep. I mean, obviously, Mullen went through a lot in the offseason. Yeah, they sure did. And we'll, we'll get a chance to talk about that quite a bit here later. Let's get back to the softball action. And you know what we talk about a lot, or what I think about a lot as a coach, is you sit there and you go, the first four innings is kind of act one of the game. And then your last, your next two innings are act two, and then your final act is that seventh inning. And right now, you know, Valor controlled act one. They're up four to three right now. And now it's all about trying to control Act Two, trying to win innings five and six, and trying to make something good happen for you. So one two here for Kender. She'll try to get the uh, the first out of the inning. And uh, as a as a team, you always want to get that first person, first hitter out. Obviously, want to uh, you know start off the inning. Don't really want to give up any any singles or especially walks because first pitch walk or first hitter walk score. Lead-off walks. Lead-off walks. Score is, is. The, is the saying that we always go unless, with. Unless you get a double play. I sure hope you don't get charged for text messages because you get a text after every pitch for the pitch speed. I hope <laughs> that's. I hope you're on the unlimited data plan. You might want to check with John. Yeah. So, uh, Kendra slowed down a little. That might be due to the a uh, little bit of wind and a little bit of cold here, especially for mid-August. Uh, hopefully, we get a little bit warmer tomorrow night. I will definitely be bringing my sweatshirt just in case. Unfortunately, I don't have a white shirt. Sweatshirt. Sweatshirt. Oh, so. yeah, it is a whiteout. You are correct, sir. So, I mean, we'd probably... Oh, and that's right just her. lined right back in Kenner Roth. We got a great angle on that one. <laughs> yeah, that was, I was coming straight for our booth out here on center. So, that's one out. And up for the Heritage Eagles will be Carly Carlson, the uh, second hitter out of left field. Now, last pitch, the, uh, the pitch that she flew out in... Flew out on, excuse me, came in at 46. And Little that'll be up. low, but she'll go and get it and poke it over to Great play by Omen, Omen. And Omen fires it on over. Yeah, the speed of the infield play is really important in softball. You have no time like you do in baseball to, to field it, pat your glove a couple times, and then rip the ball across the diamond. You have to get rid of it now in yeah. softball. A lot of times you see a... Uh, you see a player, especially in baseball, bobble the ball a little bit and then pick it out and still be able to make the out. But if uh, if you don't field it cleanly and come up a throw, and you're probably probably going to have an infield single on your hands, and then that starts a, a whole new set of uh, opportunities for the offense. And Murray will come out and talk to Kender. Middle infielders talk. Great softball game here at Valor Christian High School. Yeah, both teams seem 
to be uh, improved on their previous year. Heritage was 5-13 and 13 in the 5A, uh, 5A ranks last year. And Valor Christian was 8-11 and 11 in uh, 4A. But now Valor Christian without a league has had to fill its schedule with with teams from all, uh, both both classifications. Actually, three. They actually have some 3A opponents on their schedule as well. I think we'll be broadcasting the, the game against Match Buff, and I believe they're a 3A opponent. They are indeed. And that'll cut in. Out number three. That'll be one, two, three in a row right to Omen. So great inning by Valor Christian. We'll see what they can do on the offensive end here on the Valor Sports Network. We're back here on the Valor Sports Network. Going into the bottom of the fifth inning, 4-3 Valor Christian. And that first pitch will be a curveball cutting away from the hitter. Omen. Top of the lineup back up here for the Eagles here in the bottom of the fifth. Three scoreless. Half innings here. And Omen puts it the slapped. other way. She's safe. And All Omen day. just too too quick. Ball wasn't hit hard enough, and that's kind of kind of unfortunate for if you're the pitcher because you get get somebody mm -hmm. to kind of just poke it the other way. But uh, unfortunately, but Omen uses that little slap technique where she really runs through the ball, so she's already a step or two out of the box before or as she's making contact. I guess not out of the box, but moving forward in the box to gain momentum. That's that's something that you don't see a lot in baseball. You see it sometimes with uh, left-handed hitters, but it's it's real prevalent in softball. To be honest, I think we should teach Dewey how to do it, because he'd beat everything out every time if he made contact. Yeah. Oh, and that'll that'll be a bunt and run that uh, Roth couldn't quite get it down. Seven hits now for the Eagles on the afternoon compared to Heritage's two, so a considerable difference in the hit category for between these two Eagle teams. That last pitch came in at 55 on Roth and they'll again go with the bump but they'll go with the pitch out great call and she'll be safe at second the throw beat her but she must have been under the tag great speed out of Omen great transfer too by the catcher really close play but Omen the sophomore just a little bit too fast setting up again a little bit of small ball here is coach Gillette with one out no there's no outs should be no outs correct no there, outs, yeah. there are no outs. moving people coach. over that's a that's oh, a cue well. and that's an error. So run run there, there. and that's winning two. an inning right there. Lagori went to her knees to field the ball, and uh, she she uh, got the throw of her one, but it kind of be handled there by uh, Harriman. So that'll score a run for Valor Christian and put Roth in scoring position on second. And as a center fielder, she's got wheels. She does indeed. Here so comes Roberts, who's pounded the ball a couple times real well, and that will just screw ball away. Roth plays club ball for the Colorado Cyclones. Spelled? P-S-Y. <laughs> Great hack there by Roberts. There's, there's no, nothing greater than a, uh, than a weird weird mascot. Absolutely. Spelled, spelled interesting. Especially in the college ranks. Which just means you're going to buy their t-shirt, Landon. That's pretty much what that means. Go Roberts drives the ball pickles and Robins, Roberts will have a single to center. Oh, and she'll take two Absolutely on the throw. Absolutely she oh, will. That's great. Great heads-up softball from an experienced player. Good base running, a nice high throw. So now with uh, no outs and runners on second and third, Heritage finds himself in a tough, tough situation. 
and Coach Severson will, uh, or Severson will take his uh, take his way out to the circle and talk it over with his team. Well, and here we see the Eagle attack again. The top of the lineup has been absolutely deadly for the Valor Eagles today. Omen, Roth, Roberts have just absolutely owned the Heritage Eagles thus far, posting these e posting Valor to a 5-3 advantage right now. We'll see if... I, I just have a feeling right here that Patron is going to break this thing wide open. She could hit her second three-run home run of the year, but uh, hopefully I think she's going to... I think she's going to land one right here on our, on our platform. Somebody up here is going to have to make a play. As long as she avoids all of our equipment, yeah, I have no no issues with that. Here we go, Patron. Hopefully, uh, one of us gets a souvenir ball. So Patron steps into the box. Lukowicz still uh, still in the circle, and she'll deliver with a high fastball, and that'll be a uh, first pitch ball. Do you, do you pitch around Patron here? With an open base, I might. Oh, and that'll get well, up and out, and that'll score Roth. And I don't know if she was trying to pitch around her, but she missed the zone completely. And the wheels are starting to fall off for the Heritage Eagles. Three-run advantage now, six to three in favor of the Valor Eagles. They're gonna, they're gonna want want something to happen to try to prevent the run from th th uh, third at scoring. Maybe, uh, maybe throwing her out at home. They try to tag on a fly ball, but uh. Definitely not nothing like the last the last situation where you just let give them the easy place. That ball's driven. It's gone. See ya. And that welcome to the tennis courts. That's Patron driving the ball. And that'll be her second home run of the season. Told you I had a feeling. I don't mean to say I told you so, Landon, but I told you so. And I am now holding the souvenir ball, and I'll be bringing this home. <laughs> Pretty sure you have to give that back in high school ball, Chief. They have more than one. <laughs> <laughs> Mike might get it signed tomorrow at school. She's uh, she's definitely a big talent for the Valor. The Absolutely, Eagles. she is. Eight to three now. The advantage in favor of the Valor Eagles. As the Heritage coach is going to make make a pitching make change. a pitching change, and it's time. So uh, we'll get back to you here on the Valor Sports Network after the warm up. We're back here on the Valor Sports Network. Valor Christian up 8-3 to three in the bottom of the fifth. And coming into pitch will be Harriman coming from first baseman. Or coming from first, excuse me. And 
Um, the DH Jansen went into first, and this will be driven right back in a God! And that ball is gone. Is gone! <laughs> and that is a solo shot for pitcher <laughs> for pitcher Zany Kender, and that was an absolute shot. Shot, and that went right back in. Don't throw it back. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Fortunately, I had to send both of the balls back. Didn't get to keep one as a souvenir. But Valor Christian is now piling on with a five-run fifth. And uh, that's that's unfortunate for Pitcher to, uh, to just come in and immediately get hit like that. That was a 51-mile-an-hour pitch. And uh, stepping in first now, we have Josh Grismer. Hey, Choka, good to be here. Yeah, a great, a great game we had. Valor Christian just, uh, finally, finally, really uh, exploded here in this setting up nine three, and up to bat we'll have the third baseman. Or, excuse me, yes, the third baseman Sierra Bennett, and that last pitch came in at fifty three on the ball, and that'll be driven to the gap. And now Valor Christian is lighting it up, and they'll relay that into two, or excuse me, they'll relay to third. So that'll be a stance double for Bennett. And that was fielded by uh, my number two, Gallegos, and number six, the pitcher, uh, or former pitcher, Lukovic. So, uh, what do you think's been the key to Valor Christian really just string these hits together? I don't know. It looks like they're seeing the pitch really well, and they're uh, just making contact with it. And Harriman delivers, and that's up and out, and all almost lost by the uh, by the catcher. Almost uh, offered the Eagles another base. Valor still up 9-3. So Valor Christian really in a good situation. 1-0. And the pitch here will be swung on and hit towards third. Oh, and there's then a it's tagged. A bit of a rough play. Tagged out at third. By Stranton, but that's a good heads-up play by her to... Uh, to really make it happen, get it out and do something for her team. Try to try to keep the game as close as possible. Yes, sir. And uh, Heritage will have two chances. Two chances to really do something. That pitch came in at 53. One out now. And uh, up for Valor Christian will be M Murray. Man on first. Swung on and a miss. So that'll, that's a good start for Harriman. She'll go up 5-3. Or excuse me, she'll go up 0-1. Oh, so Grismer has uh, been a part of the program for a while now. Yes, sir. Which, uh, what do you, and the school as well, what are you looking forward to this year? And that'll be popped towards second, and Lagori will handle it. Out number two, number two. Well, it's good. Let me tell you, I'm looking forward to... Uh, a lot more commentating. Here we go. Um, I'm looking forward to the football games, um, and I'm looking forward to this baseball season coming up. Uh, just getting ready, working out, uh, throwing the ball pretty well. Um, what about you? Being a senior here, been here all four years. Yeah, you know, just just a lot of great things going on at the school. And Estes up to bat, and that first pitch will be a low ball. A lot of great things going on at the school, and uh, definitely going to be a fun year for uh, for everybody involved at the school. But really, as a senior, exactly. it's uh, you want to go out on on top. You want to go out uh, really just having a good year and getting ready for the rest of your life. And that'll be singled up the middle, and they'll try to get the man at two. Safe at two. But she'll uh, she'll be safe. I think she just took that off the hip. So she's going to be injured, and uh, Coach Gillette will come uh, come and look at her. But uh, that's just kind of an unfortunate play there for uh, for man. And she's, uh, she's down on the turf near second base. You're watching the Valor Sports Network.
So man is up at second. Just needed a little bit of time to shake that off, but uh, she'll she'll stay in the game. And now coming up for the Valley Christian Eagles is number 20, and that is Kendall Oman. Let's see what Valor does here. See if they can string together some more hits. Here we go. So with two outs in the bottom of the fifth, the Eagles have a have an opportunity to add on here with a runner in scoring position. Man decided to stay at second. And the delivery here by Harriman, and that'll be up. Up on Omen. And I believe Omen started this inning, so the Valor Christian Eagles have now batted around. And Harriman ready, just waiting on Omen to step in. Omen throws right handed, hits left handed. Pitch. And she'll throw that, and that'll be low and away on the curveball. Harriman back, back in the circle, ready to go. Ready to try to give her team a chance to get out of the inning. And she delivers home. And that'll be well, well outside. So now she's in, in a 2 0 hole. We'll try to deliver a strike here, give her a chance to get out. Pitch coming in at 43 miles an hour. Yeah, really going for the off speed, a lot of movement, trying to throw the hitter off, trying to get him on the back foot. And goes to the same thing, and that'll be in there for a strike. So 2 1 now. I feel like she's been doing a really good job painting the corners. How do you feel about that? Yeah, she's, uh, she's done a pretty good job uh, ever since the. Uh, since a couple of hits are kind of kind of buckling down here, really uh, really trying to give her give her team a good opportunity, and Pitch. that'll be low. And the ball gets ball away four. from the catcher, but uh, all the runners will advance. Now the bases are loaded for Roth with two outs, and uh, the Eagles are four runs away from the run rule here, but uh, they they only have one out to do it until until they get another shot in the sixth. But again, Heritage has a good opportunity to put up some runs. Well, Heritage has three runs on two hits, and Valor Christian has nine runs on 12 hits. So Valor Christian really come out, has come out these, uh, this year hidden. They've scored 21 games in two and a half games, or 21 runs in two and a half games. So, so they really have a potent offense this year. And the pitch? And that'll be up up and out on Roth. So she'll uh, she'll go up 1-0 one, one -oh on Harriman. Roth steps in again. We'll see if Valor can get some more runs here. Roth is also a standout on the basketball court, and she'll drive it back to center, and that'll drop. That'll be a single. And that's a single that'll score a run. Valor's up 10-3. And now comes up uh, Zaney, or excuse me, Jordy Roberts. And Jordy Roberts uh, singled earlier this inning. So she has an opportunity to, uh, to keep adding on here and keep up with her great day. And Harriman del delivers, and that'll be up in an. Oh, that's that's in there. And the that may look corner. a little high. That was in the uh, top left corner of the zone. A little bit out on on Roberts, so she'll she'll go down 0-1. The Blues been pretty consistent calling it there all day though. And she's gonna foul that off, so now she's in a hole 0-2 with no outs. Let's see if she can protect. Yeah, I gotta protect here, shorten up the swing, just try to do something with it, put it in play. <laughs> Help your team out. And the pitch. And that will be right down the middle. And she'll head to the shortstop. She'll try to take it across the diamond and will get Roberts at first. So Valor Christian with a big six-run inning. And they are now at 10-3 to three after five. You're watching the Valor Sports Network.
So uh, here we are back at Valley Christian High School. I am uh, Peter Maris filling in for Landon Troca. Oh, yeah. So Josh, how have you uh, felt about the Eagles' performance today? You know, I felt they've done really well. Here we go with the pitch. That'll be a low ball. You know, I felt they've done a really well job defensively and offensively. I've uh, seen a lot of great hits today, and I've also seen a lot of great defense. So if they can keep this up during the year, they're going to be a hard team to beat. Yeah, the, uh, the Eagles have an especially explosive offense with the pitch. two home runs in the last inning. That's going to be an inside. Inside for a ball. The, uh, the Eagles squad this year is looking very promising, and host, I hope to uh, see them go far down the road. We still have number 14 up to pitch. There's a good pitch. A good pitch. That'll be inside for right. a strike. There we go. Put right in there. Count is 2-1 uh, and one now. And here we come with the pitch. Oh, swung on. Reason. High fly ball. Oh, kind of lost. Cannot get to it. That'll roll to the fence. They're going to try and get it in. She's going three. And number one will be safe at third little for Heritage. A little bit of a rough relay in there. Now batting, number nine, Sabrina. And, Zaney's uh, still at pitcher. Stanton here is playing first. She takes the ball low. Josh, uh, how much can be said about the pitching performance today of uh, Zanny Kinder? You know, I thought Zanny's done a really good job today, actually. She's uh, been pretty consistent with the strikes. Here's the pitch. That'll be low for a ball. No, I thought she's done a pretty good job. She's uh, allowed a couple of hits, but that's all right. Um, you know, I think she's just been pretty consistent in the strike zone. How do you feel about her? Oh, I feel I, I think she's done an amazing job, and especially for a true freshman coming in here and putting up a performance like this, only letting three runs in five innings. Pitch in for a strike. The count is now one and one. It's been an absolutely dominant performance thus far by the Eagles. I agree. I agree. Here we go, number 14 with the pitch. Swung on, and that'll go foul. Grounded to the uh, left side, right side over by first base. Here we go with the next pitch. Swung on, fouled off. Kinder's done a very great job today of uh, pitching for outs. Pitching no, I contact. feel she has too. I agree with that. And the uh, Eagles very solid defensively in the infield. Yes, Lots sir. Ground ball out today. Just waiting on the pitch. And the pitch. Swung on. We got a high fly ball. That's going to roll foul. And that ball was that ball was crushed. Yeah, it was. They've actually Heritage has done a pretty good job hitting today. Um, Valor has outmatched them with a strong, strong defensive play today. Seems Valor's like, still up ten to three. Seems as though Heritage is all of their uh, real good shots have been the pitch crushed, foul swung oh. on to second base and there's out of first. That, that solid infield, but that scores a run, so she that got the score job run. done. Ten to four. Valor still leading. We have one out in the top of the sixth. That play was made by Shelby Mann, the second baseman. Shelby Mann to Jordy Roberts. So uh, how did you feel about Morgan Patron's big shot earlier? Morgan Patron's shot was amazing. I have not seen a hit that powerful in a long time. And to do that back-to-back -back both games, she did one the other day against uh, that conifer. Absolutely split this game open. And here comes the pitch. Number 14, Kinder. And that is a ball just high. Looks like the Eagles have somebody warming up in the pen. Count is 2 0 right now. Looks like Chloe DeBoose. And the pitch. High ball. Oh, it's oh, called it a strike. Strike. A little bit of a late call Excuse there, Excuse me, umpire. that was a strike. And there's a strike. Great pitch. See a little upward action on her balls. Just 
So like Peter said earlier, we do have Chloe DeBus warming up in the bullpen, and uh, she looks to be like she's getting hot, so we may see a pitching change soon, folks. And Kendra's done an absolutely amazing job today, but uh, her performance has slowed down a little bit now that it's become cold and her arm may be fatigued. Her speed seems to be dropping a little bit, but you know, that's that's uh, swung on. That'll be a foul ball. Still doing a good Still job hanging in there. Two two. Strikes. Working out. Good job pitching a soft contact here. Wait Count is two and two with one out. And the pitch swung on, fly ball. That will go foul. Popped up straight back. The Eagles have put on quite the show here. Hey, Josh. Yes, they have. I feel like they've done a really good job being strong defensively and offensively. With those two home runs, over the fence home runs, we had two shots. One from Zaney and one from Morgan Patron. And there's a big hit to the outfield. Can she get oh, over the That head. is going to roll to the fence. Over the head of the right fielder. She throws it in, trying to get the relay going a second, and she is upstanding with a stand-up double. That will get us a double. Valor is still up 10-4 to in the top of the sixth. Can you're still doing a good job. Even letting up hits means you're just throwing a strike. There's a big shot to the gap. Patron makes a great play. Throwing it in. Patron throwing to third. And that will be a double. The, uh, the heritage shot. offense is really heating up here. That will be a shot by number 11. The uh, current condition on the field is very cold and very windy. Maybe that uh, that's affecting some of the players' gameplay. And looks like we're going to have a uh, visit to the mound. Perhaps a pitching change. Does not look like a pitching change, actually. I was wrong. No, sometimes the coaches just like to come in and uh, talk to their players, give them a little pep talk, see what's going on, see how they're feeling, you know? Got to help uh, change up the tempo of this game because right now Heritage is looking very strong. Heritage is looking hot. Yes, yes they are. It has been a uh, very good game so far. Thoroughly entertaining. We encourage all fans out there to come to more softball games and support from here. Thank you for uh, watching our broadcast. It's been nice having you here. Looks like we're going to get some uh We're going to get back to the action right here. Zany has stayed in. She stayed in a pitcher, so we'll see what she can do. And she's she's got some real good work in today, throwing a solid six innings. She must be getting up on the count, don't you think, though? Yeah. Must be uh, pretty tough on the arm. However, I've heard uh, softball throwing is a lot different than baseball throwing because of the uh, natural motions of the arm and not having to exert yourself quite as much. I'd say it differs in about every area. Yes, it is. Though the sports may be similar, the uh, styles of pitching is nearly... Uh, Thank you, Peter. All right. Opposite. And the pitch. There's Swung good on strike. and a miss. <laughs> that, uh, that pitch moving late at low at the uh, last second is incredibly hard to hit. You would know. I would know. Swung on, high fly ball. Man is chasing after it, and it will drop. And that is just drop for a fair ball. Incredibly hard play for a second baseman. Can't fall through there. That was a good effort and good pitching by Zaney to get some pop-ups. That will go in for a single, folks. We have a runner on third and a runner on first. Thus far, Zaney's done a very good job of pitching soft contact, and all of the hits that have gone through, very few of them have been... Very solid contact and hit very hard. So Number two, Gallegos up to bat now. Gallegos, the center fielder. Seems like a very nice girl. Good baseball, good softball player, sorry. We are uh, waiting on the umpire right now. 
Yeah, and Gago uh, steps into the box. Play will resume. Zaney to pitch. Right down the middle. And there you see a uh, sort of trick play by the defense, throwing it back to the pitcher in uh, mimicry of a throw down to second, uh, trying to trap the uh, runner from third going home, trying to maybe force him out. Didn't work there, but it was a great idea. Aggressive gameplay by the uh, coaching. And the pitch. That will be in for a ball. Count is 1-1 one one with one out. Swung on. That'll be a foul ball. That went straight back. Looks like there's a lot of fans out there today supporting the Valor Eagles and also the Heritage Eagles as many of their fans have made the trip. We would like to take this time to thank all the viewers and listeners coming out today. Thank you for uh, supporting Valor Sports Network and the pitch. That'll be in for a ball. Valor still up 10-5 to five in the top of the sixth. Heritage is getting closer. Swung on. There's a good shot, just foul. Seems like that's been the story of the night for Heritage. Just a bit foul. Heritage is looking strong. They could be in for a comeback. We do not know yet. Just brought we this have one out to still. half. It's been an exciting sixth inning. Zaney with the pitch. Ball's it's going to be for a no ball. Dirt. We have a runner on second right now. Zaney with the pitch. Swung on. That'll be into the shortstop. To Jordy Roberts to get the out. Great play made for the out. That was a great defensive play by Valor. Way to get the ball and hustle it to the first baseman. It was a uh, good choice made by Omen to go, f go to first and get the shirt out instead of trying to force a play at the plate. It's a great play by the shortstop for Valor Christian High School. And in walks uh, number five for Heritage Eagles, uh, Lakuri. Zaney with the pitch just a bit high. And you can tell she was not trying to throw it there. <laughs> and Zaney with the pitch. That'll be high for a ball. Count is one on one now with two outs. It was a ball. Excuse me, that came in for a strike. Pitch. Oh, and ball just outside. Oh, ball just outside. Count two and one now, two outs in the inning. How do you feel this game has been going for the Valor Christian Eagles, Peter? I think they've uh, excelled. They looked a little bit shaky this inning defensively. And the pitch. Swung on. And that will go foul. Good hustle over there by the third baseman. I felt like that was a great hustle. Zaney's still in the game. She's been in the game all day. She's been looking very strong. Here comes Zaney with the pitch. Swung on. That will also go foul. It's starting to just mist a little bit outside. Very cloudy day here at Valley. What do you think Valley's strengths are this year? Offense or defense? Or both? It could be both. Honestly, I'd say uh, their strength is mostly uh, defensively. I don't know. What about with those two home runs? Actually, um, their offense is very stout, but I think they have a solid young pitching core. That's true. Zaney is a freshman. Remember, folks, she is a true freshman. The, uh, the Eagles have a very young team, and most of the uh, star players are sophomores this year. That is true, with only a few seniors on. The pitch, that ball is drilled up the line, uh, the third line, <laughs> third baseline, <laughs> but it will go foul. Score now 6-10. to ten. And there's a full count with two outs here. Tense situation. Get 
ball was line drived out to the sec shortstop. Great play there by Omen. Great anticipation and way to get down to the knees. We're going to take a break and we'll be right back with the Valor Christian High School Eagles. Thank you, fans. All right, Make folks. Uh, we have a we have a little bit of a better game as the Heritage put up a little bit of fight in that last inning. Added uh, added three more runs. So I'm I'm Landon Troca. I'm back on here air here with Jackson Cronberg, a uh, sophomore here at Valor Christian. Jackson, what do you think so far of this game? I'm really loving this game. Just thinking that uh, it's been a really good game and just uh, that they're really getting some good work in here and uh, they're playing a great game uh, and. The score's very, getting a little bit close here, so they might want to add in a little bit more of uh, a uh, cushion for the run. So Harriman's first pitch is high on Patron. Patron went yaya -ya earlier, really, really went, went to Yachtstown. Yeah, that just came right by us and was a very long shot. <laughs> yeah, that was, a, that was a real big hit out of the, out of the sophomore. That's something that uh, Valor Christian's lacked in the past is a lot of, lot of power in their lineup, and they're, they're starting to get that, you know, two home runs today, one from a sophomore, one from a junior, or one from a freshman that's a uh, that's what you're looking for the umpire has been uh, very fair here and uh, has a very good strike zone right now and uh, has been like that all game and uh, just calling the strike zone very well yeah really some great officiating uh, nothing really nothing really controversial going on so that's that's really what you look for you don't want the umpires to really become part of the game you want it to, uh, to be decided by the players and that that's something that's always always tough in sports but it's really battling here and getting some foul balls in and just you know keeping alive and the 2-2, that's going to be fouled down the line. She's doing a really good job of just uh, staying alive, getting the bat on the ball, uh, just keeping it in play, and uh, just staying, staying uh, around. Yeah, so hopefully she can come up uh, do something great. We have the center fielder in uh, Maddie. Maddie uh, uh, Gallegos is almost on the warning track, as are, as are the other outfielders. So they, they're respecting... Uh, power that Patron brings to the plate. Yeah, they obviously know of her power. They must have heard about her last uh, <laughs> home run last game and uh, are just seeing that uh, she's got the power to do that. So again, fouls it off 3-2. Harriman's uh, doing a great job of Harriman's doing a great job of keeping it up. Uh, you know, really keeping uh, keeping the fight right now. So I really hope that she can do something here and uh, just come up big for the Valor Eagles in this uh, top of the set. Uh, no, bottom of the sixth. And she'll go and deliver home, and that'll be fouled off again. She is Patron just, just doing a great job. How many pitches is this at bat gone? This is around 10, no doubt. As she steps into the box, and uh, pitcher gets set. And the pitch. And that'll be lined towards the, towards the shortstop, and she'll get Patron at first after bobbling it a little bit. Knocked it down, though, and was able to make the play. So after a good battle... Patron is retired, and Harriman will go to work on Zany, Zany uh, Kinder. Patron really hit that ball well and uh, put, in a, put a hard play on there for uh, the shortstop, but just beat her out by a little bit. And she delivers here on the first, and she'll go in up and inside, but that's fouled directly back by Kinder. Kinder's pitched real well today. She's given up six runs on six hits. Uh, one air for the Eagles. You think we'll uh, see Kinder back next inning? Uh, absolutely. Uh, you know, softball pitchers really, 
really just go for uh, games, and it's, it's rare that you see relief unless one really starts struggling. And Kendra with a double to the gap, and she'll be on two as it's fielded by the center fielder, and they'll, they'll take the cut to three. Great stand-up double by Kinder there. So way, to, way to put that in the gap. And now we have uh, Sierra, Bennett. Sierra Bennett up, and she she uh, drove the ball in the last at bat, so she has a great opportunity here to uh, get, get Valor some of what they gave up last inning and to win another inning, as uh, Coach Wall was talking about being so important earlier. you got to win those innings and those add up, and then you win games. Yeah, this sophomore third baseman is very impressive and is a very good hitter and uh, very solid. And field. she's going to take her... Oh. To second, uh, line drive to second, kind of push it the other way, and uh, Zaney had to hustle back, hustle back to the bag. Yeah, good, good heads up play by uh, Zaney to uh, get back to the bag really quick. That's a easy play to get doubled up on if you're not paying attention. Yeah, that's uh, that's one of those things that I think Val Christian's done really well today is base running, especially a couple times. A couple times they had to steal, but steal a base when a button run or a hit and run didn't go well, either to a pitch out or just a. And that is a high fly ball. Fly ball to the gap, but that'll be fielded by uh, Gallegos. So Valor Christian one hit, but no damage here in the uh, bottom of the sixth. So Heritage has one opportunity here in the t uh, coming up top of the seventh to put up four runs and to extend this game. You're watching the Valor Sports Network. We're back here on the Valor Sports Network for Heritage's last opportunity in the top of the seventh here at Valor Christian. It's yeah. a bit of a windy, cold day, but uh, Zany Robert or Zany Kenny are going for the complete game, and she'll uh, she'll work on I believe Gabby Ligori, the leadoff hitter for Heritage. So this is the part of your lineup you want if you're Heritage, uh, if you're trying to put up four runs in an inning. Yeah, I'm just really excited to see how Zany pitches this inning after uh, that rough inning last uh, inning and just see how she bounces back and uh, tries to get better and uh, just make those pitches and get those outs. I would just say obviously just try to pitch your contact especially when you're up by four. It's not like when you're in a safe situation you know you, you don't have any breathing room. Here you got a little bit of room. Just try to get outs. Don't try to do it all by yourself. You have defense for a reason. That will be ball two up. Yeah, Zaney's just uh, done a really good job today of pitching contact, so if she can get back to uh, doing that in this last inning, then I think she'll be uh, set for this game, and then the Valor Eagles will come out with a win. Yeah, uh, Valor Christian done a great do job on the defensive end. I think the only error that we have scored, and that'll be a single, and it'll be fielded by Patron and left, but the only error was on that uh, sliding play by Roth. You know, kind of bounced, bounced in and out of her glove, but really a good effort by her, and you can't be too upset by that if you're a pitcher, if you see all your fielders going all out behind you. Yeah, she really went all out for that ball, and it was a really tough play, so uh, I just think that uh, she put the best effort she could in that uh, play and uh, just got the wrong end of the stick on that one. So now we have uh, Carlson in left field up, and that'll be a ball, ball up. Oh, look, looks like he changed it to a strike. Oh, I assume that was a bit of a late call on the strike. Then it seemed two up, so it's, so it makes sense to me. And 
Carlson will uh, have an opportunity to try to advance a runner. Can't really play small ball here if you're coached uh, seven stand. And that's going to be a fly ball back at Roth, and she'll handle it. And that will be one away for Valor Christian. She overthrows the second baseman. You always want to hit your cut. Don't want to give any up any free bases, especially after just recording an out. Luckily, Zaney was there and uh, was there to back her up. Now, Valor Christian looking to uh, start out the season 2-0 and against a couple of uh, good 5A team here in Heritage and then uh, and the team that they never beat earlier in Conifer that they 10 runs. So they're, they're absolutely at the top of their game, really doing a lot. And that's going to be driven at Patron, and that's a good hit down the line. And that will be a single. Ligori will be held up at... Uh, Held up at second, so uh, good job by oh, good job by Patron to get the ball back in really quick and uh, get it to third base. Yeah, I did a real good job of cutting it off down the line, not letting it uh, not letting it get down towards that foul pole and see extra bases and maybe even a run scored by Lagori from first. So now we have the three hole hitter Harriman, also the pitcher right now. Or excuse me, actually, Lagori was didn't start the inning. That was Carlson who started it, and Harriman, Harriman just hit. So now we actually have Jansen. I apologize for that, but uh, so this is the f or the yeah, this is the five hole and the DH for Heritage. So they're they're right in the thick of the order right now, and they have a uh, Schaefer on deck who's ha who's had a pretty good day at the plate. Yeah, with two men on base. Uh Zaney's just got to Zaney's just got to be uh, really attentive here and uh, make her pitches and uh, not let anything too big happen right now. Yeah, I got an opportunity for a double play, so uh, you can definitely pitch to some contact in that sense, and that's fouled straight back. So that'll bring us to a two-one count. One out here, so that double play would be a great thing right now. Yeah, a double play would get Valor Christian uh, second win in the season. Definitely get him off on the right foot. Uh, they, they can't win league this year, obviously, with the situation Valor Christian finds itself in with uh, all sports not being in a conference, uh, of course, with the exceptions of lacrosse and football, do, or not football, lacrosse and hockey, both boys and girls across due to the way that the, the scheduling works a little different for that sport, for those sports, because it's not quite as uh, widely played within the state, so uh, it's kind of a necessary for a team to be in a conference, and that'll, that'll be a high strike that was swung through there. By Jansen. That yeah, was a good job getting uh, getting Jansen a chase there and uh, putting that high pitch up there. That looked really nice, and she just swung over the top of it. So she's now uh, finds herself in a full count, and she fouls it. Yep. She fouls it down towards uh, down towards third, and it's fielded by uh, fielded it. by third baseman Bennett. All right, Zaney really needs to make this pitch right now because she finds herself in a uh, full count and uh, could really use this out right here. Yep, definitely definitely did the right thing in pitching to the contact, but real tough, but they'll get the out at one. I was just kind of floated over to that side of the field, so that's it's two down. Great play by uh, Shelby Mann there to uh, get the ball over to uh, Jordy Roberts really quick. Definitely don't want to find yourself in the bases loaded situation where, where one hit can actually tie the game. And... The umpires are having a conference just to talk something over. And uh, they do record the out. Yeah, but the out is recorded. So now two down for Valor Christian. Uh, runners on second and third for the Heritage Eagles. And up for the uh, up for the Eagles will be uh, Pat, uh, Schaefer. Excuse me. Catcher Schaefer. She's uh, she's done a good job behind the plate today. Even threw a runner out at second. So that's, uh, that's something that you like to see out of your catcher. Have that big arm. And that will be grounded at third. And that'll end the game, and Valor Christian will go, will win the game, ten to six. Valor Christian has 13 hits, one error. Uh, the visiting Heritage Eagles have six hit, uh, six hits, or eight, six runs, eight hits, one error, and uh, they will go to 0 and 1 on the season. So Valor Christian off to a good start. Heritage, uh, Heritage played a good game, showed a little fight in them to try to come back from that big six run or seven run deficit, but it uh, ultimately wasn't enough. So from all of us here at the Valor Sports Network, good night.